Welcome to the May 21st, 2019 Yukon City Council and Yukon Municipal Authority meetings in the council chambers of the Centennial Building at 12 South 5th Street, Yukon, Oklahoma at 7 p.m. This evening our invocation will be given by Pastor Ray Rotund of the Bethel Community Church and following that invocation we will have the flag salute. Pastor Rotund. Yes, sir. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this evening. Thank you for this city, uh, for the opportunity to live in a place that is freedom and can uh, create laws and govern a city that, uh, Lord, where the people can prosper. I pray for this uh, meeting tonight, that all decisions that are made would be for the betterment of Yukon. Uh, give wisdom uh, from God so that each decision can be done according to your will. We thank you so much for Jesus and the power that we have in his blood. In his name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. McCarran? Here. Yonda? Here. Caccini? Here. Selby? Here. Wooten? Here. We will now hold a public hearing to receive input from the public regarding the 2019-2020 City of Yukon budget. Is there anyone here who wishes to give input? Seeing none, we will move on to presentations and proclamations. The public hearing is now closed. And Mr. Shivers, do we have any presentations or proclamations? We do not, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Visitor section. This section of the proceedings is for visitors who would like to <coughs> address the Yukon City Council on a non-agended item. Each person will given, be given three minutes to address the council, and by <coughs> open meeting rules, no discussion will take place. Do we have anyone this evening who wishes to address the council on a non-agended item? Seeing none, you have not received any I input not. forms. <coughs> Seeing none, we will now recess as the Yukon City Council and convene as the Yukon Municipal. <coughs> you, <laughs> we will now recess the Yukon City Council and convene as the Yukon Municipal Authority. Item 1A on the Yukon Municipal Authority agenda is the consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda so that the Yukon Municipal Authority, by unanimous consent, can approve those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all authority members, that item will be heard in regular item. City <coughs> Manager recommends a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting on May the 7th, 2019, and B, Material <coughs> payment of material claims in the amount of one million sixty eight thousand six hundred and twenty three dollars and seventy two cents. Do I have a motion, please? Motion accept. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Mr. See, Mayor, I might yes, mention sir. that this is a very large payment from the uh, municipal authority. Normally, it doesn't come under that. As I explained earlier, there is a payment of two hundred and forty thousand for the Frisco Road interchange uh, on this. There's a $190,000 for the animal control sh shelter and there's includes a $622,000 uh, payment. Uh, and this is to the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority. It's from an agreement we had made previously and reimbursed them as they advanced us the money. And that was for the water line? Right, for the water line on, uh, on 29th Street. Right. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Selby? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Wooten? Yes. We will now adjourn as the YMA and reconvene as Yukon City Council. Item one is the consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the City Council by unanimous consent can designate those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all council members, 
that item will be heard in regular order. <clears throat> City Manager recommends a motion that will approve a minutes of the regular meeting of May the 7th, 2019. B, payment of material claims in the amount of seven hundred and seven sixty-seven thousand four hundred and fifty-four dollars and twenty-three cents. C, designating the items on the attached list from the technology department as surplus and authorizing their sale, donation, or trade. D, an extension of the current natural gas sales agreement with Clearwater Enterprises LLC to extend the term from July 1, 2019 through June 30, 2020. E, the renewal of the existing radio system license agreement with the, Oklahoma, the City of Oklahoma City to extend the term from July 1, 2019 through June 30, 2020. F, the appointment of Michael McCarran, Yukon City Council Representative, to the Yukon Chamber Board of Directors, and G, setting the date for the next regular council meeting for June the 4th, 7 p.m., Council Chambers of the Centennial Building. And I Mr. need a motion and a second. I need a Mayor. motion. Right. I'm sorry. I'm going to make a motion uh, to accept all items except letter F. Correct. Okay. I also was going to pull that. So okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. <coughs> Do I have a motion, please? I made the motion. You have yeah, a motion. motion and, and a second. 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 Okay. And that's with all items except F. And I'm going to move at this point uh, to remove that item from the agenda. And, uh, and uh, that appointment will occur sometime later. Any further discussion? Okay. Vote, please. Kachini? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Selby? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Item two. Reports of boards and commissions and city officials. Mr. Crosby. No report this evening, sir. Thank you. Item three, consider approving resolution 2019-07, a resolution of the council <coughs> and the mayor of Oklahoma, mayor of Yukon, Oklahoma, establishing the National Incident Management System, NIMS, as the standard for incident management in Yukon, Oklahoma. Do I have a motion, please? Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? <coughs> Can you explain what we have now? This is very similar to what we pass every year to. So uh, this is just an ongoing thing. It's yes, not something new. Yes, ma'am. This is what we use for our police stuff and everything as well, or just the. Uh, right. This, or just the emergency. This is management. federal, state, and tribal governments to work together more efficiently to prevent. Uh, to prepare for response for domestic incidents regardless of cause, size, and what have you. This is a requirement we need to have. Okay. Any further discussion? And Lonnie's our uh, head man in that area. Lonnie? Donnie. Or Donnie. 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 Yes. Yeah. Okay. Donnie's the head guy in that area. Okay. Any further discussion? Seeing none, vote please. McCarran? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Selby? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Yonda? Yes. <coughs> Item 4. Consider approving Ordinance 1390, an ordinance that provides for an amendment to the Code of Ordinances for the City of Yukon, Oklahoma, adding 50-36 to create the Office of Yukon City Marshal and declaring an emergency. Do I have a motion, please? Motion accept. Second. And discussion. Uh, Mr. Crosby, would you like to comment on that, please? Yes, Mr. Mayor, members of the council. The this item had to be asked for by the municipal judge. What these marshals will do? They will be out of the police department. They can, will be cleat certified. They can make arrests, do various things, but they will not be actual police officers on a route and something like a uh, normal officer would do. 
what these people will do be assigned to the municipal court they will go out to collect our fines and our warrants that we issue thousands and thousands of dollars we've got a backlog of warrants that have been issued of people that have been out of the city they don't show up for court they'll make payment arrangements will not come back they can actually go out and make the rest and uh, start collecting these funds uh, they will not be part of the police retirement system they'll be part of a normal retirement system with the city and we can hire like retired officers uh, somebody like that that can and we'll pay them of course a lot less cost to the city as you would if they don't police officers to make this type of would we be putting liens on these people if they owe us a great deal of money well you can't on traffic tickets you don't get a lien right. you, you, but uh, you if they don't show up or they don't make a payment uh, they didn't issue a warrant and if they live out of the city and they don't ever come back you'll never collect your money or some of them that's just it. don't even worry about it or they'll make a payment arrangement and they won't pay it and there's no need for them to pay it if they don't come back within our community and uh, we have a large amount of money I believe the uh, court clerk gave a report to you all a while back in regards to hundreds of thousands of dollars that are outstanding on that and we'd like to start trying to collect that money so they could actually go to their home so what right. large what, what size area would they cover they, they can cover anything that you want within the state of Oklahoma it within the state we won't be going outside area. the really the, the, the main metropolitan area it wouldn't be cost-effective yeah, to uh, go outside the metropolitan area in regards to to this but they would, they wouldn't necessarily have to be in the bounds of Utah <coughs> itself right they can, yeah. they can they can be they could go up out of state if they want to but that would be silly to pay that kind of money for a small traffic tip okay. ticket do we know how many people we're hiring uh, be two would be the maximum we would hire okay and you usually if you're gonna go out and make an arrest you don't want to send one by himself negative or herself. I'm with you on that one <laughs> any further discussion seeing none <coughs> vote please Yanda yes Selby yes McCarran yes Caccini yes Wooten yes Item 4A, consider approving the emergency clause of ordinance number 1390. Do I have a motion, please? Motion to approve. Second. <laughs> Any discussion? Further discussion, I should say, I guess. Vote, please. Caccini? Yes. Selby? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Wooten? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Item five, consider approving the final plat for Frisco Ridge phase three, a tract of land situated within the northwest quarter, uh, <coughs> northwest, north quarter, quarter, quarter and southwest quarter of section 19, township 12 north, range five west of the Indian Meridian in Yukon, Canadian County, Oklahoma, as recommended by the Planning Commission. Do I have a motion? Please. Motion accept. Second. A motion and a second. Do I have <coughs> any discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Yonda? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Selby? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Item six. Consider entering into a hay lease agreement with Jake Reimers for the purpose of cutting grass hay for the term of May 21st. 2019 through December 31, 2019, for the property located at the southwest corner of Frisco Road and Highway 66, referred to as the Sports Park property. Do I have a motion, please? I make a motion. Second. Any discussion? And we're just uh, we are just leasing that, Mr. Crosby, for. Yeah. Uh, this would so just be for one year, and this would keep us from having to spend a week every so often out mowing it, which is not cost us a lot of money and equipment wear and tear on the equipment. Yeah, and uh, I'm with you. And hay is not that good. It's not that good of grass. But if a gentleman wants to mow it, we're glad to have somebody come take it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Any further discussion? Okay. Vote, please. Selby. Yes. Caccini. Yes. Wooten? Yes. Yonda? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Item seven. 
consider accepting the sanitary sewer line improvements and placing the maintenance bond into effect to serve Yukon Parkway West. Is that six B I yes. or is that four? Six. Six. Right? six. Seventeen twenty eight professional circle circle addition to City of Yukon, Oklahoma, as recommended by the city engineer. Do I have a motion, please? Motion to approve. Second. <coughs> Any discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Caccini? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Selby? Yes. Item number eight, consider a motion to release the seismic permit bond from CGG Land USA, Inc. in the amount of $100,000 for a 3D seismic survey permit approved by City Council on July the 18th, 2017, as recommended by the Development Services Director. Do I have a motion, please? I make a motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Yeah, I, we didn't have any problems with what they did. Nobody complained, and no, we didn't have to pay anything out. No. There were no claim complaints filed, I don't No, believe. okay. Because I remember somebody was correct? talking about that. There were no complaints. Okay. All right. Any other discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Wooten? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Selby? Yes. Caccini? Yes. McCarran? Yes. New business. Is there any new business this evening, Mr. Chip? None tonight, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Councilwoman Yonda, item number 10. You get your up first. Uh, nothing this evening. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> Councilman Wooten? Uh, I would just like to say congratulations to all the seniors graduating today. Uh, wish them the best of luck in the future. Mr. Caccini. Uh, just one quick announcement. Uh, June 6th is the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Our Veterans Museum will provide a, an event at our location from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. We'll have some dignitaries, the sounding of taps, and coffee and cake. So everyone's invited. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Selby had to uh, attend her uh, graduation of her, her child this morning or this evening, so she has uh, gone to that. And from my standpoint, Yukon is an absolutely great place to live and uh, certainly couldn't be more pleased. I don't even have a list of events to read tonight, so we're, it's going to be a short meeting. And seeing no other business before the council this evening, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>